Welcome back, everyone. We've got the players here for the grand finals. Oh, I got the score wrong. My bad. All right, hold on. Let me fix that. Best of five between the Swans versus the Billies. There we go. Nico uh, in the classic Octane. Now Wolf opting for a car switch, going for the Batmobile. Let's see if that pays off for him. It's Kryptos. Going to carry this one up. Going to have to get past Nico. Garb in the corner. Now, I think I think the Billies win this one 70-30% as well. From what I've seen from the Swans, I think that where the Billies are going to have the advantage is exactly like that. Being able to know when the time is nigh to rotate back and cover your teammate or when the time is to push forward on the Hoops map with all the crazy reads. The rotations are a little bit different, and they've got to seem strange to the Swans right now. I'm not sure how much Hoops they've played, but it can't be as much as Nico and Wolf, that's for sure. Yeah. I'd say I'd give uh, Nick and Wolf even more a favor than that, more of an 80-20. So just because of the hoop knowledge and the honestly, I'm just still hung up on the Swan's reaction to friendship kickoffs. Right, Cryptos gets the first goal though, and the Billies always look a little nervous when they're down uh, down points instead of up. They tend to get the early lead and then hold on to it with an iron grip. But I I have to agree. I think the Billies are going to take this three to one. That's my prediction. I'd love to hear you guys' predictions in the chat. And uh, Red, what do you think? 3-1 as well? Oh, gosh. Immediate response. This is what I was saying that Patrick needs to do. Patrick and uh, Manny on the friendship kickoff. Look, they're uh, not going for it, but they're not guarding hardly anything. And they just put it straight on. It's so hard to say. They just don't know what to do. Their reaction to the friendship kickoff. Another Somebody one. has to go up and try and block while the other person go, go right. back and guard. So the now they got the backboard, but it's still not. It's it's so dangerous still. They they don't get the boost. They're on spawn boost. And the billies now are. They're boostless, and the billies are all juiced up. Right, exactly. They're going to be able to aim where almost where they want to with that friendship kickoff. It's very difficult to to change the way you want to aim while you're flying towards the ball. But if they if they plan it out ahead of time and they predict what you're going to do. If you're going to go to the backboard or cover underneath or have a, uh, two people on the backboard or whatever, they're going to try to put it in the hardest spot to save, and then they're going to follow up on top of that. <laughs> Kryptos left it up. So definitely in the regular friendship spot, the person that hits the other car, they're going to be the ones following up in that case. Oh, that's a pinch straight to the ceiling. Wolf doesn't get the touch, so that means Garb scores here. They're uh, up two to one. It's a heck of a pinch. Yeah, that almost never works, dude. It, it's because he it bounced back and then he hit it, hit the ball, using the rim yeah, to take lift off. Like straight up and down the uh, rim pinch. It like goes up to the waterfall and then bounces out. That's such an unusual pinch that I had to deal with. Yeah, but as I was saying on the friendship, the person in the back that does the collision, they're the ones that are going to follow up. The path they're going to take. After they get the hit, they're going to flip forward or wave dash, and then they're going to pick up two boost pads, which puts them at about 30 or 40 boost. And then and they're going to try to, you know, utilize that to follow up whatever defensive maneuver the Swans are going to pull off of that friendship kickoff. And it's almost certainly going to be awkward, but it gives the Billies just such a huge advantage early on. Just lifted it up, but Kryptos going to take it away from there. He wants one more. Still not a real shot opportunity, but that's a little bit of a blunder from Wolf. I don't think he meant to just hit it straight upward with a backflip. Nico holding that backboard. What a shot from Garb. It bounces off the corner, and then he completely reads it and puts it way out to the middle. That's gorgeous. Yeah, he he waits on his flip till he's almost banged his front of this car into the wall before flipping mm -hmm. it so it gets out to the middle, and Wolf was not prepared for that. He thought it was going to stay yeah, on Wolf the back wall. Wolf was also dealing with the rim. He knows he's about to rim himself, but he stops for a second, backs up a bit, goes around, and by then he's balled past him. Uh-oh. Shot towards net from Wolf. Not looking good for the Billies just yet. I wouldn't count them out. They're only two goals down, but they might be... I'm not sure what they were doing in between matches, but they likely weren't playing hoops. Oh, the rim skim. Billy's down three goals. They're in free fall right now. I think the, the Swans just took notice of Manny and sacrificed them to the rim gods because they're getting awful lucky so far this game. Yeah, certainly the Billy's only goals are off of, the only goal is off of the friendship, but we got two of those coming up. So if we see another goal, they might be able to make up two more after that. 
Oh, that's a huge boost whiff from Wolf. I don't think he can save that as a result. That boost miss was absolutely critical. If he had that, um, he needed it for defense. What a shot, though, from Garb. That was sick how he went underneath it and scooped it. It's gorgeous. Here's the friendships, though. He's just above it to dunk potential save. They're not going. Oh! <laughs> but this time the Swans did go for it. What a mind game. It's a double mind game. Right. That's another thing in the Billy's arsenal, is that if they think you're not going for a kickoff because it's a friendship, they just won't go for it either. Or they won't go for the friendship, they'll just go for a regular kickoff, and they can aim anywhere, and their teammate can get the boost and follow up. Now, Wolf on the attack, bangs it into the corner right to Garb. Nico's going to be able to control that. He wants to lift it up with another tab. That's a double commit there from Swans, but they're going to be okay since they were going in opposite directions. Nico removes Garb from the defense meanwhile, but he has plenty of time to rotate back. All right. Wolf is going to look for the 50 here. No, he's just going to take it as Garb doesn't quite challenge him yet. No danger happening at the moment. Kryptos takes it up to the ceiling. Now up to Wolf. Looking for the dribble. He's taking it way high, but Garb has got him red. He is way higher than Wolf even. And that's just an 80 boost waste from Wolf. Now Kryptos to the ceiling. Garb rimmed a little bit, but Kryptos, fortunately, is going to be able to carry that down from there. Taking it all the way back to the Billy's half. Flick from Wolf, but he gets nudged back in the process, and the shot from Kryptos, maybe it's a pass to Garb, sending it straight down. Nico's got it red, but they're running out of time. Four goals in 40 seconds. We do know the next kickoff is a friendship kickoff, and they desperately need it. Here's Wolf. Looking for just the block. He needs that block to happen, but Garb is going to control it. Every moment they control it is just time on the clock. Wolf, pass out to Nico. Nico needs his redirect. Oh my gosh, bouncing off the rim. Garb on the backboard gets the save. That's so fortunate. The rim, once again, protecting their life. Garb, back out to mid. The final play here. I think they want one last goal before <laughs> they get it. Six to one. If the Billy score here off of the friendship, that would it would six to be them, right? We'll see. I hope so. Doesn't work as well as the uh, the hate, hate to, to right? Friend. There's still time. <laughs> mm. Well, they actually went for it. The Billies went for a really low friendship, hoping to make that shot happen. But that's gonna be it. The Billies six to one that they lost. How crazy is that? We rarely see that. But once again, when the Billies are down, they do tend to really get nervous there. Uh, make mm. rotational mistakes so they don't tend to make that often. And their shots seem to get less accurate as well. But some really good defense from the Swans, I would say. They, um, they, Other than the friendship kickoff they got scored on, they always challenge at exactly the right moment on their half, and they had someone on the backboard to save the really critical shots. They dealed with the friendships okay. I was very happy to see them go for a kickoff when there was a friendship opportunity, but then again, Billy just tries to say, oh, they're not going to go, let's see, and it just ends up being a little bit of a spaghetti fest from that reverse mind game kind of thing. <laughs> when is this game going to start? <laughs> that was weird. thought that was longer than normal. Straight up to the sky. It's going to bounce off the rim, but Wolf shouldn't be too nervous. That's back out to the middle, though. This could be dangerous as Garb lifts it up. We got a wolf pre-jumping here, and Nico goes to cover the front of the net, hoping that um, he's trying to guard in case it was a pinch straight downward. But Kryptos has got plenty of time here to line something up. It's up and over Nico, but Nico gets the bump as a result. Garb doesn't quite have the dribble he was hoping for. It bounced out, and that's going to bounce nicely for Wolf. Kryptos is going to be on top of that first. Oh my gosh, both blue team members on that still somehow managed to whiff, and Wolf hits it right into the rim. Nico to the backboard. Here's Wolf. He needs to lay it straight down. Once a double touch, it might be too greedy. Now it's Nico's turn for a double touch. Garb back to Nico with a back pass to Wolf. He wins that 50. He's trying to lift it up to the over the net. Garb gets it kept safe. Their defense. This is just great pressure by the Billies. They're keeping it in the blue half. They have plenty of time for one of them to rotate back, get full boost, and continue the pressure. Yeah, I think really the MVP of the Swans defense is Garb. He's just always on the backboard exactly when he needs to be. He's not hes not out there collecting boost or being really close to his teammate. 
He's giving him plenty of space, and then he just always gets that clutch save when he needs to. And the abilities there double committing it means they're going to have a little bit of pressure. Wolf sends it down range. I think Nico is looking for boost. That's all I'm pointing out is as soon as I compliment the Billy's pressure, they lose it. Yeah. Over to the corner. Bouncing towards the net. Garb's got the clear. Back out to Nico. He's going to let it bounce off of the net. But then the 50 from Crypto, Cryptos right into Nico. Let's lift it up. Wolf's got the touch first. Nico in the corner. Uh, not the clear he was hoping for. It's back right out to Cryptos. It's too far away from his car. Cryptos is killed for it. Garb's lifted it up, but Wolf gets the better end of that 50. Garb's got it kicked out to middle, but Nico's there lying in wait, looking maybe for a ceiling shot. Garb on no boost gets the save. Crypto's chasing it. Once a 50 with Nico. Nico able to clear it. Once one more touch to send it towards the net. It's just straight upward. It's just a little bit high for Wolf. He can't do much with that other than just to stop the uh, stop the assault. Nico to the corner. Garb carrying it around him. He's on the dribble, lifting it up. Doesn't have a lot of boost, but that's right to the middle of the net, and Wolf can't deal with the rim. He needed that rim pinch to work. That is such a low shot. I think Wolf, in this case, has no idea how much boost Garb has. He goes to the backboard expecting a much like harder hit rather than a dribble. Yeah, you see Wolf staying really low on that backboard expecting the low shot, but not only did Garb get the low shot, he gets it very forward in the net, meaning Wolf has to jump out really far to get underneath the ball in a position where his 50-50 is going to be enough to challenge it and actually win it. Garb just over Wolf, but Nico's going to take it in the corner. Can't get past Kryptos. Kryptos' 50s on offense have been really solid. Makes it very difficult for the Billies to transition into offense themselves. Wolf down in the corner just wants it past the players. Actually, he was passing to Nico, but a pass to Kryptos from Garb sends it nice and low, bouncing off the rim. Oh, it's going to find its way in as Nico unable to read that roll around the rim. It's slight toilet bowl, just sends the ball straight into the goal. Two minutes to go, and the Billies are down two. They're not looking very strong here. We thought we might have we might have given them a little bit too much credit. <laughs> we thought I, know, I definitely did. Chat would agree. Yeah. I see you, chat. So that one looked like it wasn't a friendship, but Wolf just booped the other player, knowing that they they still the Swans still don't know who to send on kickoff. So Wolf was able to boop. Defense from the Swans is impenetrable. They've only had one goal scored on them in the last two games, and that was at the hands of a friendship. You can hardly blame them for that. The Rim God's finally working in favor of the Billy Trons. Yeah. Here's Nico trying to get a pinch, but he's going to get blocked. Wolf out to the side. Looking for a 50 on the Garb. It goes straight upward. That's going to be good for Kryptos, who needs to pass it to Garb here. Doesn't have the touch. Popped up. Kryptos takes away the Billy's boost. He's going to try to dribble this, but... Oh, he wins the 50. It's bouncing upward. Nico should have that. Just up and over Kryptos. Wolf pressuring it. Garb once again back. Prepared for that clear. And Kryptos to the corner. Kryptos with a pass to Garb. Garb wants one more. That's a tricky angle. Oh my gosh, he almost makes it work. He's looking for a pass now. Sends it straight into the ceiling. It's bouncing off the rim and out. The Billies, once again, the clock is ticking. We've got 35 seconds to go. What a shot from Garb. Nice and low. He made that work once. Oh no, that's a huge double commit from the Billies. They both wanted that side boost, so one of them is going to be completely boostless on this defensive play. They managed to make it work. Wolf is looking for a pass and the boost at the same time. Nico trying to block Garb. Wolf is going to be here getting the block. It's still out. Garb already pre-jumping this shot from Nico. we got seven seconds to go. The Billies need to score with one second left on the clock in hope of a friendship goal coming up after that. But it's not going to happen. Game two goes to the Swans after that ball touches down. And we're on to a game three. The Billies... Need to find their their accuracy again, I guess, or I don't know. They, they need to start bumping. Is that what it is? They're not like getting up mm. demos. I know they were. Tr I know Nico, I saw Nico trying the last game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he went for as many this game. Yeah, I think that might be their ticket. But the the Swans always seem to 
arrive at the save right as the the shot comes in. So it's very difficult to get in their way if they're moving so quickly. Well, let's see what this game holds. The Swan's up two to zero. Less hesitation, more apes has Starburst. <laughs> your on, we need more apes. From the Billies? I don't know if that's really their strength. That might make them lose even harder. I mean, I am always in favor of, of just more guns blazing, zooming all around. But I don't think that's what the Billies do best. Uh, they're hoping for a reverse sweep. That would close out the grand finals for sure. That's a very close shot from Wolf. Nearly undefended net. That's rolling up nicely for Wolf. He can't get there in time as Garb takes it away. There's the demo we were talking about. Nico's got a, f a first kill. Strat a shot to the uh, center of the net. Nico's got it to the ceiling with a, a little, I don't know if you can call those pinches, but really solid clear from the sidewall. Back out to mid. Garb gets the block. Nico's looking for bumps. Gets two, a bump and a demo, but Wolf, no follow-up from him just yet. Yeah, it was a little bit too far behind to take advantage of Nico's demos and bumps Straight right to the there. ceiling. Water falling in. The Billies, they've got their first goal. And you know what that means. The Billies get the lead, and the Billies hold it. That's what they haven't had yet. It seems like the Swans have always had the lead so far in this series. Gold, thank you so much for the sub. Guys, it means a Twitch lot. Prime. Oh, yeah. Here's Nico from the corner. Gets it past Kryptos, but that means Garb is going to be on the play first, and Wolf is committed to that. Garb needs to pass. If he could have gotten a pass to Kryptos, maybe using the sidewall to keep it away from Nico, that would have been absolutely devastating because that was the last defender. Nico once again getting kills. He heard us. He's like, oh, you want some demos, do you? I got some of those. Nico trying to clear it over to the corner so that he can sneak away the boost from Garb. Well, it's going up to the waterfall again. Not quite high enough, so Kryptos has the read. Nico to Wolf. Wolf, the icicle kicking it back out. Nico wants to roll it up, but Kryptos is going to be way stronger from there if you send it too high. Wolf to the corner, but Garb is there guarding that. It seems like the Swans really have a strong concept of where you're supposed to rotate on defense and hoops, and that's something that I feel like most teams that are just getting into hoops, that's one thing that they, they lack. Like when we saw a Porklet and Tool for the first time, they were always staying underneath. But the Swans, they are utilizing that backboard saving really, really well. Mm. Uh-oh, this could be a pass to Wolf. He's got a touch, but it's back into Garb. Nico's going to have that clear. Garb is waiting patiently. So Nico's made the right move. You try to bait the, uh, the opponent in. Wolf, pass to Nico. It's just too low. He's going to try to 50 Garb. No, take his boost. Maybe get a bump as well. Back out to Wolf. It's over his head. Kryptos gets the bump, but the ball wasn't in to begin with. Nico gets the boost for it. <laughs> Kryptos is just running amok down here in Orange Corner. Getting bumps, holding onto the ball, keeping possession. Now it's Garb's turn. Trying to lift it up. Maybe get it back passed out. Oh, it's both team members there now. The Billies, they've got that lead, and once again, they're holding on to it. They're forcing their opponent to just play the ball in the corner over and over again. There's a shot from Nico, cleared away by Kryptos from the backboard. Wolf blocked. Nico's on the ball next. I think he needs to... Oh, he just goes for it. Better to hit it first around your opponent than to be patient. Wolf's got it around Garb, but bumped. Wolf wants one more. Garb, I think, is on that ball first. Nico wisely backs off. Just always maintain a, dif a defensive position when you've got the lead, but that's just straight in. Nico needs to get this read. He's got it kept out. Here comes Kryptos with the shot. It's nice and low, and Wolf is just over his head. That means the Swans have tied it back up. The next goal could be the last in this very defensive game. A heck of a save yeah. from Nico, but Wolf, I think, also committed on that save and was kind of in an awkward spot. Yeah, even, like, the tight timing from this forced save from Nico doesn't leave him a lot of thought of where he's going to clear the ball. It pops up where uh, the Swans are able to dunk it back in. Wolf double committing for that save puts him in a bad position to help him out with the second save. Certainly. Wolf's got one more touch, but it's just barely out. The 50s from Kryptos, once again, coming in huge. He's dribbling this one, wants to get it over the rim, but it's just a little bit out of his reach as Nico's going to take it from there, looking for a pass to Wolf, I think. No, he's just going for it. Garb clears it to the corner. It's going to buy a lot of time for his entire team to get boost. Bouncing off the rim. 
There's Nico into the ceiling. He wants one more. Oh, he wants the boost too, but can't get it past Garb. Garb out of boost, committed to the orange side as Wolf takes a shot. Cryptos is able to get the save, and Wolf is looking for blood. Nico past the Wolf. That's a tough angle. He wanted to hit it with the front of his car. I think that's wrong. He won a side flip there. Oh, Cryptos completely punted out of his own half. But Wolf is giving it right back to Garb. Oh, that was scary. Cryptos using the wall. And a bit of a double commit from there, but on the Billy's for this clear. Garb back out to mid. Just right into Nico's hands. Let's see what he can do with this dribble. He can't get it past Garb. I think that was an opportune time for the fake high go low, and we're staring at overtime here. It's seeming imminent. Wolf taking his possibly last shot until then. Nico up the wall. Both Wolf and Nico are here. Wolf wants the shot. It's just a little bit too low, and they can just let that one drop. We get a fusion kickoff. This could make or break this. Wolf lifts it up, but Kryptos is there. Now Nico from underneath with one touch with what boost he has. Back out to Kryptos. The Billy's all boosted up. Wolf's going to carry that, trying to get it over Kryptos. Nico is going to have to play patient, but that's a cross-court dribble. Pinched mm. away at the last moment. Did Wolf pinch it, or was it the defender? It was Wolf. Oh, man. You hate to see it. Now here's Garb with the dribble. He's got it. Holy smokes, the clean sweep by the Swans. The Billies had a much, much closer game that time, but we're going into the bracket reset best of five. Honestly, I think the Billies were just stalled from that play. I'm like, we got this. We got this. Oh, we don't. Oh, they scored. Yeah. Well, that was a heck of a dribble from Garb. I wish we could have seen it a little bit better. But yeah, we get the bracket reset from a clean sweep from the Swans. Bracket reset. Second B05. All right. I got to change the team names. Got to change all the things. Can I? I can't even copy. Can't even copy paste. Come on, Psyonix. Ah. All right, that's good. Just need to get the overlays updated, and then we're solid. Hopefully they recognize the team swap colors. I can just let them know. Swap colors to... All right, second best of five, the Billies. Keeping that game very close, but that last dribble, that last dribble was wild. Wolf had the um, cross court dribble that was <laughs> thwarted by him. He's got to be, he's got to feel terrible about that, right? Yeah, at the very end of his dribble, he gets a little bit too far underneath the ball, so his pinch just puts it up and out. Oop. Block straight up. Ooh, Cryptos I'm almost had that dunk down. Yeah, really solid block. Wolf to the backboard. Bouncing off the rim. It's got a block, but it's right back to Cryptos. And Nico's trying to get in there. I think he's also bumped a little bit. That's up for Wolf. Wolf just needs to make the shot work, but it can't connect. It bounces off the rim. Garb doesn't have a touch just yet. He's around Nico, but it's right back to Wolf. who's looking for a pass to Nico. Not going to happen. I think Nico bails on that play. He doesn't want to double commit this early into the game. And that's going to be a clear yeah. from Cryptos. You saw Wolf on the backboard, and then he sees the, the defender there, so he tries to go for a bump instead. I like the play, but it didn't work out. Whoa! Nico getting the save off of that flip reset. That was sick from Garb. Ooh, the defense from the Billies. They're just holding up. Nico gets bumped a little bit, but he lands right on Garb's car. Completely Goomba stopping. Here's another dribble saved by Nico. That's a very fortunate boost spawn for him. He's able to snag that in that last exchange. Both Billies waiting to see what happens on that ball. Yeah, Wolf just gets bailed out by Nico there. He's just collecting that bait boost every single time it spawns. He was on 20 by the time it was finally cleared. That's a huge demo there. Garb kills Nico and is able to turn around for the pass to set up the pass. A little give and go right back to Kryptos using the rim. Yeah, Wolf goes for this challenge here. Nico dead leaves no one at nobody behind. It's a free net. Kryptos is top ten in three standard and was number one. Guess he's nuts and hoops as well. Turns out the Rocket League skill carries over nicely into hoops. 
Things are just a slightly different with the rotations and with the kickoffs, but other than that, it's Rocket League in a nutshell. Demo play on the Wolf from Garb. We're seeing the Swans start to get aggressive with their play. Nico looking for maybe a carry, but pass from Wolf is not going to avail anything. That's a huge demo, but unfortunately he got the lift up in time, and Wolf isn't able to read it as he's on the backboard. Now they're down two points. Grosser yeah, Wolf swans. was on the backboard, and he only has that base boost to work with. Only way he was going to save that shot if he stayed on top of that base boost and just did a bot double jump. Wolf, over to the wall. Nico's got it lifted up to the ceiling. Kryptos, oh, gets blocked by Wolf on a pre-jump. I think that's definitely where you want to challenge your opponent. It's got to be before they get to the rim, because otherwise, if you 50 it and it goes straight down, that's in. But Kryptos finds a way in anyway. Let's see from his perspective what punishment is available. He sees Nico not going for it, and Wolf is expecting the boom clear from Nico, and that's why he's further down. But there was no clear to be had. Even then, the shot is really low. It goes almost lateral. Those are really hard to save, even if there is someone on that to save that. It's upward. Wolf doesn't have the 50. He's got the shot here. It's just bouncing off the rim again. Their accuracy leaves a lot to be desired, both from Nico and yeah. Wolf. And that's a carry from Garb. There's a shot up from Kryptos, but it's just not in. Nika's playing forward, hoping a pass from Wolf will come through. Bouncing out to the middle. Wolf trying to lift up, but Garb's got him blocked. He's gonna just lift this up. It's not high enough as he gets bumped away. Wolf setting up. Doesn't want to pinch it, because that would be right back into the opponent's hands. Now it's about to Nico. He's missed it. Wolf trying to lift it up last moment. Kryptos double touch. Over to blue half. Wolf with the pinch to get it around him. Nico, oh, it's a rule one. Rule one? Wait. On the wall. Oh, no, guys. Guys, never go. Never go booster defender. Booster to bumper. I don't know. This this is horrible. I hate everything about this. I think it's fine. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. <laughs> oh, this could be Kryptos' chance. Meanwhile, we see Garb this. totally pushing N Nico out of the way. It's the slowest bump play I've ever seen. Yeah. I love to see, like, at the end of the game when it tells you how many bump cars you get. And if this is happening, it's somewhere in, like, the hundreds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I have an update. Nico is now out from underneath the orange net. Garb is slowly clearing Nico away from their right. side of the court. Kryptos is just making sure this 1v1 doesn't amount to anything. Wolf is trying his best to just hurry this process along. That's a shot from Kryptos just bouncing off the rim. Wolf taking it up the wall. This is a chance to dribble. Oh, he's hit it a little bit too far. He's got to go back down to the ground, but this might be his chance. He's flicking it upward. It's not in. Kryptos now on the attack. He did not get killed. Sends it to the ceiling. I think that's not quite it. Oh, it is in, but Wolf gets the save. Here comes Kryptos with the shot. Nice and low to the front of the net. It's still bouncing upward. Wolf has just cleared it back into Kryptos, but Kryptos almost blocked there. I think that's going to be it for the Billies. They're going to lose this first game as well. As Kryptos finally gets the best of that 1v1, and Nico and Garb are freed from their spell. It's really a curse, Rule 1. There's nothing you can do about it, guys. Friendship. 4-1 to one lead. The Billies need four more friendships. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's not even working for them. They, they need something other than friendships. They need to rekindle their friendship or something. I don't know. At this point, the Swans have been exposed to it enough where they were reacting to it very well and able to counter it. Not get a favorable kickoff off of it, but enough where they're able to block and then get a counter. Block to the ceiling. Garb trying to get it cleared, and that will land down. That means the Swans are going to take game one. So that's going to be four games in a row for the Swans. Right. It's really not looking good for the Billies. The, the Swans also swept, uh, no, this is Manny, right? But they lost to him the first time. 
So it seems like they've gotten powerful. They're like a uh, Saiyan, dude. They they get more powerful when they're defeated. Point is, they're on a game by game winning streak, and I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. Right. Yeah. That last game, four to zero. I mean, the Billies, the third game of last series, they kept it close. They had the lead by a point, and uh, when they get down early, they just really suffer for it. 476 cars bumped. Is that what it said? Oh my gosh. I uh, just shot the 500. What a shame. All right, if only they had done it earlier. Average rocket fledge game from Fumar. Yeah, I agree. Oh, up to the corner. Nico wants one more, but he's not going to be fast enough. Uh, we got a Merc on the field. Oh, Wolf is now, in the Merc. Rolf, I just missed that. What? Please commentate on Rolf's decision to play the Merc. Uh, he likes the Merc. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Back to the game. Everyone knows the Merc gets you all the ladies. Oh, going straight to the ceiling. That was certainly a difficult read for all four players, but I think the Billies really respected the Swan's ability to clear it. They didn't want to really truly commit to something that, that that's that high on the backboard. Now Wolf first. Crypto's blocked, but that's a clear from Wolf. Garv forced to save it. They're really playing... It, what it seems like is... They want the zone off their cars where Kryptos is in the front half of the court and Garb is in the back half of the court, almost always. Is it, it always seems that Kryptos is pushing the offensive and then look, look at uh, Garb's position here. He barely goes past that halfway point before he's just going backwards. Every moment he gets, he's just clearing the ball, looking for Kryptos, and then as soon as the, it, the play falls through, he needs to go back on defense like you see here. Oh, he's actually going forward for a pass. Blocked by Nico. Well, deciding not to go for it at the last moment. I think his only touch was bad, so maybe that's the right decision. He would have hit it straight up. Kryptos. Wolf just getting a fingernail on it as Garb shoots it way low. Nico gets the save. That was close. Kryptos to the wall, but Wolf is there first. He's looking for just a touch. A dunk down from the... From the floorboard. How does that happen? He's got the bounce. That weight from the Merc is too much for the little swan wings to handle, and he sinks the boat. <laughs> that was devastating, because from Gar's perspective, right, he sees the ball bouncing up the ceiling. He's like, I'll just get it when it goes to the floor. And then Wolf hits it away from him, so Garb's like, oh, I'll just go back and get it after, you know, after it bounces up from there. And then Wolf is there to dunk it straight down again. So let's see if the Billies can hold on to this lead. Historically against this team, they get the lead, they hold on to it for three minutes and throw it away in the last few seconds. Hmm. But is the Merc the key? It could be. Kryptos is double rimmed. Nico lifting it up. He's looking for a pass. He's trying to find Wolf. No, he's just going for it. Dunking it down. They have a two goal lead for the first time. What a savage dribble. What a great setup. Pass one player and just savagely dunking on the last player there. Brutal. So what I'm seeing so far is the Billies need to sit on the ball. Yeah. They sit on the ball, it goes in. I think they're just not getting those opportunities. The other team is just contesting them so well. They've got so much, like, they have so much space between them that when you get past one, you have to deal with the other one almost immediately. Nico with a shot. That's a tricky one, but Garb is able to say that. His defensive ability is just outstanding. Kryptos around Nico. I think he needs to pass to uh, Garb here. He might just have it. Wolf with the Merc clearing that as Garb lifts it. Here's Nico booming it back downfield. He wants uh, just the boost for now, I think. He's looking for his opportunity to come in, but that's going to go back to Wolf. He's going to get blocked to Garb, lifting it up. Fortunately for Wolf, Kryptos is not on the back wall. There's another shot. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, Wolf has used all of his boost to get that save. Mm. Now the Blues are in a tight spot, and they need to survive until they're both boosted up and cleared. I think they've done it, because Nico has got full boost. I think Wolf just found that side boost. Yeah, indeed. Garb up with it. He wants to carry it. He's got the reset, but blocked by Wolf. He's going back towards the corner. Kryptos. Oh, he doesn't have it. Here's Nico on the attack. Wait, well, he's playing it slowly. Oh, no! <laughs> Calculated fake right yeah. there. I don't know if that is exactly in his best interest. <laughs> He's lifted it up. Oh, it's going straight upward. Wolf's got that from 
from under. Down to Kryptos. Nico looking for the block. I don't have to do is he takes the boost. Garb underneath the ball. Lifting it up nicely. Wolf on the backboard is going to have that cleared nicely just over Kryptos. Shot from Wolf is low. Back out to Nico. He's going to carry it. Uh, the carry wasn't like his last one. Here's Kryptos. There's no way he has the boost. He's bumped his own teammate out of the way. This could be a huge double. Wait, no! The Billy's double commit on they the boost. Went for the corner. Yeah. I think that would have been huge. I think they saw the opportunity and unfortunately just hit each other on the rotation. But they're still going to be okay. They've got 40 seconds just to hold on to a two-goal lead. Should be pretty simple. We have yet to see the Swans score from um, from a kickoff. All of their goals have been very clean offensive plays. There's a pass from Wolf to Nico. They're on the backboard. I don't know if this is the aggressive move they need to make, but it pays off as Wolf dribbles it nice and low. I think mm. since Garb was Garb probably saw Nico was on the backboard, so he's like, I gotta go to the backboard to provide it, try to prevent yeah, that uh, shot from coming. But yeah, Nico sees that Wolf, Wolf has the potential for the second touch, so he tries to go for the demo instead. Mm. Yeah, and also gets out of Wolf's way in the process. And additionally, he would be able to start rotating back by doing this as well. There's so many like layers to that move. Well, Billy's on their way to winning the first game. It's up for Nico. He wants one more. And it's gonna tap down. Billy's win it. And nice like that. Grocer Swan's eight game winning streak has come to an end. <laughs> yeah. Eight games, dude. That's so savage. It might have been more than that that we just didn't watch. Is oh, it? Oh yeah, I got my I got the bracket open in the uh, other monitor. So they go they go down after the losing the winner semifinal. They win the losers corner one game, win the losers semi. That's two games, and then losers final. We're up to four now because that was the best of three, and then they and then they sweep Billy's and they get the one. Hmm. Okay. So it is confirmed eight. Yes. Nice. Good math. Math facts. Yeah. Game number three. Pengo doing his best Shogi impression in the comments. All right. Well, the Billies won really handily last game. It was three to zero. Oh. Yeah, so we, we gotta saw... feel pretty good about that. Yeah, we saw the Billies just applying break there. Sure, that, that was just a feel good game for the Billies. That's exactly the pick, it, pick me up they needed after <laughs> getting swept in that first series. And they can keep, if he can keep up the way they played, I can see them bringing it back. That was really critical that they didn't double commit there. Wolf really respected Nico's ability to read that ceiling. And uh, he was, as a result, Wolf was ready for that second follow up. But that's a shot to the ceiling, a double commit on defense. And now Nico needs to scoop that up. It's not going to happen, but maybe a pass to Wolf. Wolf is backing off, trying to get some boost. He's real, still rocking that Merc, but what a pinch from Garb. Oh, my gosh. It's just perfectly in. Let's see that dribble again. He's up over Nico, Nico gets no boost, bumped. He tries to get a touch. It goes over him. Wolf is also like, a bit of a panicky trying to, trying to block, and Garb does, keeps his composure enough to get the pinch off the back wall. Mm -hmm. Just dribbling past both Billies. It's huge. Wolf faking that he doesn't have any boost, I think. Trying to lift it up. Man, he had a touch, but it just hit his he wheels had a reset. and went nowhere. Ooh, a huge bump on the guard. Wolf rolling it up. Kryptos, big clear. Nico's going to be underneath. Oh, he doesn't have the shot. He was all out of boost. Garb's going to take it from underneath. That's a good clear using a pinch. He's got the full boost along with it. So he's going to be feeling pretty okay for this shot. Is it pass? Oh, Kryptos could have been on the backboard, and that would have been a huge goal. Oof, I don't but think e either one of the Billies individually had that save. The pinch is what saved them. Oh, really? So, I mean, if Kryptos was on the backboard, it's like a guaranteed goal. Mm. The least he could do would be like a bump somebody, but that could just be some Poop's unfamiliarity using a backboard pass. The Billies have yet to really perform a backboard pass. They've attempted it a few times, but haven't made it successfully work, so maybe that's why the Swans... They're not too keen about it. They don't know well, what's expected to play. The defensive rotational style is preventing the cherry picker plays. Right. Oh! <laughs> you saw Crazy that, Crazy right? taxi. 
Yeah, it was a swerve back and forth too. Uh, we might even get to see it again. Don't worry. <laughs> Crypto says, "Don't worry, Nico. I'll carry you to my own victory." While well, guard yeah. the Dude, he's showing that not only is he a defensive powerhouse, he's scoring pretty well on offensively too. There's a friendship. Still can't get it past him. That's crazy to me. They just got to get it a little, little bit higher. But every attempt they've had so far just sends it right back into the defender and then it goes uh, sideways. Flick from Nico back into Garb. Wolf on the backboard. Looking for that clear as Nico moves down range. It's kind of a risky play. Here comes Garb. Nico's going to be able to keep that to the side. Doesn't get the boost though. Wolf, excellent shot. Oh, Garb gets super rimmed. But fortunately for him, shot wasn't in. What? Excuse I me. Think Wolf just, I think Wolf just went for the bump and it, the flip worked out where he dunks it in. Right place, right time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Definitely that's exactly was. what happened. I want to see right. the calculated. Seems good. Here comes a fusion. They go for it. Nico's got it over. That's exactly what they needed. It's past Garb. What's Wolf's play here? To the ceiling! Garb's got it. He's going to be low on boost as that boost is taken away by Wolf. Uh, Nico needs to not die. He's dodged one car. He's got lots of boost to dribble this. He's got it past him, and they've tied it up. Mm. Dude, can't he score four seconds later? That's all I ask. Holy yeah, that's a darn shame. If if you're Kryptos right there, you're like swearing that Nico is dead. You got the ping here at 116. I guarantee on his screen he went right through Nico's car. That's a it was Garb's to job there to block the ball so Wolf could come and score four seconds later. He failed in his duty. Oh, there it is. Just another shot from Garb. Completely, uh, mostly undefended net. He's got Garb does not like my commentary confirmed. Yeah. The Wolf just got that boost and he's not back in time. I wonder if he missed it or something. Billy's down again. We have yet to see them recover from a deficit goal. Well, we saw them recover, just never, not take the lead. Yeah, that's certainly true. I just meant like they, we haven't seen them win yet. Yes. After a deficit. Also true. It's like the law of Wolf, the, the team who scores first wins. Seems to hold true. Garb. Gonna get pre-jumped by Nico. Nico wants that boost, but I think it's gonna get taken away from him. No, he gets bumped into it. Now Nico's got a pretty huge advantage because Garb's gonna be trying to find some boost. He needs this angle to work and he's got it. Garb completely whiffing it on defense and the Billies have tied mm. it again. Yeah, yeah, Nico with the hook shot pop. I thought I was going to shoot this at first, but the read ends up working for him. Mm -hmm. Garb's rotating back. He panics, goes flying past the ball, and then Nico has to hold net to shoot right. it. Yeah, he's he's trying to rotate back and get him in a good defensive position, but also get the corner boost. And with that, he has to avoid two rims from, like, kind of a low takeoff. So I think that's what really screwed him up. It, it kind of screwed up his takeoff. That was almost a sick redirect over from Kryptos. Yeah, Bouncing it wasn't the best down. clear there from Nico, and Garbones takes a great advantage of it. Wolf with the pinch. That's towards the net. Garb's got it kept safe. Nico a little bit too far forward, and he's going to suffer for it. What a passing play there. Garb to Kryptos. Nico is just cheating a little too far forward, not really respecting the defender's ability to boom clear it from the backboard, and that's really strange because that's uh, the Billy's bread and butter. Here's a friendship. Oh, just Nico's going for it? What? That confuses me. Yeah, I've never seen the Billies do that. <laughs> not only does Nico go for it, but that was Wolf's kick off the right. take if they did not want to do the friendship in the first yeah, place. Exactly. It pays off. He booped the other team. Booped the other guy. They're, they're uh, starting to forsake. Ooh, double demo from Nico. Yeah, double kill. Unfortunately, it's in the blue half, so they have plenty of time to respawn. The Billies are starting to forsake their friendship, though. Nico's got the save. They've only got one minute left. To get a goal just to tie it up. Double tap from Kryptos as Nico Ooh, bumps team his teammate. Bump. Yeah. But I think Nico might be a little confused because Wolf is not. <laughs> I don't think Wolf was in a good defensive position. So Nico's trying to take that that middle that boost musty? inside the net. Yeah, that was a musty. To the backboard. Wolf clears it, trying to get a pass to Nico, but Nico's backflipped. He does have one touch, but now Garb is on the attack on no boost, trying to get it lifted. Wolf gets the block, and Nico gets a kill. Can they? get a goal, get it past Garb. Oh, man, it's close. Bounces off the rim. And now Kryptos yeah, is A respawned. bit of a miscommunication there from the Billies. I think Wolf thought Nico had that. Here we go. For the last 15 seconds, it's going straight up. It's just out. Nico doesn't have the touch. 
And Wolf, Wolf is, is camping boost for boost. He's on none. Five seconds. The Billies need to play defense and transition to offense soon. Wolf on 12 boost is going to tap down if Nico will allow it. Oh, here's the tap down, maybe. Garb's kept it up. Wolf finally refills on boost. Kept it up there. Now Nico needs to clear it from a save on low boost himself. Garb with the shot. Oh, it's going to land. Nico, no respect, but oh, he isn't able to take it to the wall. And the Swans on match point. It's so close. They can almost taste the victory here. If, I, if Nico had been able to keep that up, they had a great opportunity. I forget who it is that went up and, and did that whiff right there, but he was out of the play. He was not going to recover in time to help with defense. It would have been 2v1. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I think if Nico hadn't been able to get that to the corner, they would have been able to score off that play. Possibly. Um, it's really easy, though, to like focus on the, the last second, the zero second. But yeah. the fact is that the Billies were losing all game. <laughs> mm. So they just were barely not able to come back. They were just always like a point behind. Certainly struggling in these matches. I've heard people say that Kryptos is like was rank one at some point in threes, and it really shows. Wolf, pass one, not pass Garb. Garb always holding strong there on defense. Remaining vigilant on the backboard. He's going to take it from here. He's got to lift it up. He wants the low dribble just over the net. He gets the rim read. Nico's got a touch, but Wolf completely backflips off the recovery. Garb scoring early. This is spelling disaster for the Billies. Once again, we have yet to see them come back from a deficit. It's not looking good. Really early goal. By Garb. 20 seconds in. Wolf winning the better of that kickoff, and Nico is up for it. Oh my goodness, what an early kickoff play. That is zero respect. Isn't he tied up? Let's see this again, because Wolf is here. Nico is cheating up underneath just to go right after that. It worked perfectly as planned, right out of Kryptos' reach. That is really sneaky. Yeah, you see uh, Wolf angles car back a little bit. This angles his car so that if, if he does do this 50-50 the way he wants, he's doing it again. He's putting this ball straight down. Uh-oh, Garb's in trouble. Oh my gosh, gets the save with the help of the rim. Man, that was clutch. There's a shot there too from Kryptos. Just wide. Nico's going to take it. He's got the shot. But both team members from the Swans jumping a little bit as Nico gets a kill. He's looking for a second. Kryptos, the wolf. Oh, what a pinch. Oh my gosh, Garb with the crazy save as well. Trying to hit it out. I'm Ooh. loving these pop shots from the Billy. They just keep on putting shots on goal, shots on goal. Need to keep this up. Yeah, it's just not paying off yet. <laughs> Every they... defense will crack. Just give enough pressure. I don't know, man. I think they need something spicy, something a little bit extra. Because every single time, Garb is there just covering that net, covering the impossible shots. He sees exactly what the Billies want to do ahead of time, and he's always prepared. Nico, around one. Trying to make this dribble work turning on it. One more touch. It's just not lifted enough, but here's Wolf. Wolf getting the low shot. It's just over the rim. That's going to do it. The Billies finally with the lead. Three and a half minutes is a long time to play defense, though. That's a they great have rim read from the Wolf. Been, not been able to do this entire final game. Come back from a goal deficit. You see Wolf hitting the underside of this ball to help give it that little bit of extra of a yump height <laughs> to get over that rim and in. Straight to the ceiling. Wolf. On the dribble. What's the play here? Fake it. I like it. <laughs> oh, it rolls up too. He doesn't get the bump on the Kryptos. If that was hap if that was the case, Nico certainly would have taken a shot. Now that's to the back where Wolf needs to read it. It bounces off the rim, neglected. Completely stuffed mm. by what he thought was his own teammate. The rim says not today. A an unfortunate uh, rim bounce for the for Nico here. The 50 just goes into the rim, which clears it in favor of the Swans, and they're just able to score off the pass off the rim. Yeah, exactly. Straight down. Nico with this same kickoff technique again, rotating his car back so the ball dies instantly. That one's not quite in yet. Waterfall from the sidewall keeps it safe. Garb's looking for a shot, maybe a setup, but Wolf's on the backboard, able to clear that to the corner. He wants one more, but Kryptos, look how fast, look how far back he's he's uh, staying. He knows that yeah. Wolf wants a double touch, he respects it too. Yeah, meanwhile, Garb go Garb's going for demos, trying to take Nico out of the game. 
You know, I think I thought about what you said. The Billies are just taking pot shots and they need to keep it up. Maybe you're right because eventually one of those shots is going to be weird. It's going to hit the rim or the net or the place where the rim meets the backboard, and that's how they scored already once this time. And maybe that's mm. what they need to keep doing is like keep taking those shots because eventually it's going to turn into something that the Swans can't read. Is my guess. Jeez, that was close. Like that. Yeah, exactly. If it had gone in. But I've seen a lot of shots from Wolf where they just bounce barely off the rim. The, so far, these last couple series, it's just not working out for him. Barely a little too low all the time, but that's Ooh. a dunk. Wait, it wasn't. What just happened? Did I Nico think it was a pool shot into a dunk because Wolf helps Garb here, gets into the ball, but is a little bit uh, too janky. Mm, I think if Wolf was uh, on court for that last touch, I think he could plead not guilty that he didn't touch him because that, mm. uh, that looked like it was a no touch. But uh, All right. you could certainly argue either way. We'll see what the uh, the court, what the prosecution has to say later. Yeah, I could I could see Wolf not making contact there. But point is, it was a bit of pinball there on top of the net. Certainly. The Billies, remember, they're on their last life. They need this game to go their way, and they need to hold on for two more minutes. Not an easy ask against this team. Garb from the ceiling lifts it way high. Wolf's got it back out to Nico, who is blocked promptly. Wolf doesn't use the net to his advantage. I really thought that play would have been slam it into your net for a huge clear. We'll give it back to Nico because the other team wasn't expecting it. Yeah, Wolf saw the uh, the dunk coming from a mile away, so he plays it slow and just drops the ball. Unfortunately, it leaves <laughs> it for the other swan to come in and sweep in. He both drops the ball and drops the ball, huh? Oh, man, that's a huge double coming from the Billies. I don't think Wolf's going to be back in time. Crypto's one step to the ceiling. He doesn't have the double touch, and that does mean the Billies get back in time. That ball was floating over blue net for so long. That is scary. Yeah, thankfully, by dropping the ball, Wolf didn't drop the ball. To the <laughs> no. Uh, not the touch Wolf was hoping for. He gets it right back into Nico's car, but I think Nico's going to be okay. You can see how much respect the Swans have for Nico, and it just buys him so much time. Cheeky play by Garb to get it around Nico, but it's back into Wolf. It's gonna clear it. Kryptos is reading the wall. He gets it. He gets a touch, which is very surprising. That's a hard read. And now Nico looking for just mayhem underneath, opening the path for Wolf to just slam it home. It's the pressure from the Billies. They're just amounting it. They are gonna force these cracks in the defense, and they're gonna get through. Yeah. I it's think like Nico water, man. It will go everywhere. Right. I think Nico's getting a little bit smarter there with his. I know. There was a hole in my demos. feeling last week. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, yeah. I, I think Nico is just a little bit smarter with his demos these last couple games, his like bumps and stuff. He's only really going if he thinks the other team doesn't see him. If he's if they're in if he's got uh he's in their blind spot, that's when he goes for a touch or a bump. It's really paying off. But there's a lot Oof. to consider about blind spots. Your, your Great opponent needs to be there from Nico. Your opponent needs to be facing away from you and also the ball is in front of him away from you so that that way no matter what camera they're looking at they don't see you and the clock is ticking down for the swans they've got five seconds left and they need to score with one it could be this passing play it's not going to happen it's always going to be too late and nico just going to tap it down we are on the fifth game of the best of five this is so tense yeah one thing they take note of there is the billies were actually struggling a bit there with their boost game at the very end but there was not enough time for the Swans to be able to oh. recognize that and turn the tables from the Billy's possession. Platimus Prime says, bring the Scarabs. I've asked the Billy's numerous occasions. If you get down to this best of five last game where it's do or die, do you switch to the Scarabs? And they said, of course, no doubt. If we don't see Scarabs, we know that they're full of it. They don't deserve the championship if we don't see Scarabs. Well, honestly, if they're in Scarabs, we know they're full of it. If they're not in Scarabs, they're also still full of it. <laughs> Either way, they're full of what it. What is this? This is not a Scarab. Guys, I can't believe we've seen this day. They are full tryhard mode, boys. Yep. They we want this win. They have been lacking a win. May I say, they have never won a series that I casted. They want to break that curse today. <laughs> That is true, yeah. I, the Billies have never won when Reds cast it. That's wild. Kryptos looking for the flick. He's got it. Billies double commit huge. Garb's going to pass to the backboard, but Kryptos is bumped. That's a really critical bump there from Nico, hoping that that side boost spawns. 
Now Kryptos gets a flick. Needs to get it around Wolf. Wolf is really respecting Kryptos and giving him a lot of space. Now Garb flicking it out so Kryptos might have a chance. He's got a touch, but it's right to Nico. He's clearing it to the side. Bouncing off the rim. Straight to the ceiling. Nico wants one more to shoot it, but he doesn't have the boost to make it happen. The angle is not there. Wolf on the retreat. Needs to not die. Kryptos takes it to the ceiling. He's got one more touch as well. Oh, it's so devastating. Both Nico and Wolf out on that play. Nico is recovered in time. But you have to imagine the pressure will continue with that very aggressive uh, defensive defending maneuver. Ah. Bouncing off the net. Garb. Gonna have to get past Nico. That's a huge fake. Wolf is still waiting patiently on the backboard. He doesn't jump high enough. Nico needs to bail him out. Oh, so scary as Nico pinches Nico it into the rim. Nico Wolf out in there. Yeah. He was sitting on the backboard with 20 boost, hoping that just it's gonna work. Nico comes in and bails him out. Oh, Nico's got past one. Here's the shot. It's gonna two. be cleared. Cleared by Kryptos, no problem. Now Wolf's taking it to the backboard. There's a backboard clear from guard, but here comes Nico. Oh, Nico almost lifted it. Fortunately for Garb, he was already on the on that like play. Yeah, and a boost deal from Cryptos taking uh, away uh, Wolf's potential clear there. Mm -hmm. Wolf controlling it for Nico. Ooh, Wait, team who's, bump. Yeah, who's going for the ball here? Guys, pay really close attention to who gets the first goal. I think that's going to be absolutely huge. It immediately shows you who the defender is and who the attacker is for the following moments in this game. And it looks like it's a good setup for Kryptos. Oh, he's got it right to the corner. Swans early on the, goal, the scoreboard. This is dangerous for the Billies. Yeah, the late flick from Kryptos just baits Wolf into jumping. Yeah. That flick is what puts it what puts it past Wolf as the last defender. We're seeing the people for Nico cheering on. They're really hoping they can come back. Oh, that might do it. Uh, it's just barely in the 50. Holy and smoke. the spaghetti ties the game. That's right. Oh my gosh. Bim gods, Italian gods. All the gods are present in this game here today. The gods from below, the floor gods. They're here gracing us with their presence off of that bounce. Oh my gosh, another one. Wait. Kryptos might have been a little beaten on that play. Didn't realize that was one more touch from Garvin to the last moment. Here's Wolf with a shot. Nice and low, but it's just a little bit too far. He wants one more touch. Nico now looking for the 50, taking it to the wall. I think that that flip might have completely killed his momentum. Just better to spend the boost instead. Kryptos has lifted it up. He's chasing it. Wolf is going to have that clear all day. Back to Garb. Nico is back Nico. here with a minimal boost. He's able to get a great clear with the 12 he does have, and it's back into the blue corner. Up around Garb now for Kryptos. Back to Nico. Nico, maybe a pass. No, Wolf not on the backboard. He knew Garb was there. A bumping play could have happened. That is nice and low. Nico narrowly avoids the rim. That is scary because Wolf had 100% faith in him. Out to the now, because ball. of the potential uh, ability trying to set up passing plays, there is an occasional retreating defense. I'm not seeing that as much in the case of the Swans. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Remember what we were talking earlier that the Swans, they always have like Garb back with back often and then Kryptos on the offense more often. They seem to be really strong that way because Garb just saves absolutely everything. And meanwhile the yeah, Billies... Yeah, the pressure is very even. There's no clear uh, advantage here. The Billies are, are more of a rotating style where they... It's either Nico or Wolf on the play and the other one's back, but not both at the same time. And it's never the same person each time. Here's Garb cheating up, but now he runs back as soon as he sees Nico's got the clear. Back in time. Yeah, Wolf went. For, yeah, Wolf went for the block. Luckily, Nico was back there to bail him out from the misplay. No shot from Wolf yet. Back out to Nico. He's got the 50. 50 goes his way. He needs one more. It's, he needs to roll it up nicely. There it is. He needs one more touch. But Garb, back in time once again. Wolf. He's chasing that one. He hit it a little too far, I think. Doesn't quite win the 50, but that's going to be good for Nico. He's going to be pressuring this now, trying to get it past Garb. One more touch. <laughs> no, that was so close. He was all out of boost. Wolf's got it blocked. The guard once again, pushing pushing it down. I think this game might come down to just a 50-50 again. Certainly that's what the Billies have scored this game. They need one more. There's Wolf clearing it all the way down. It's just wide. Kryptos is up for that, putting it into the corner. A very defensive spot as Nico gets a 50 past him. 20 seconds left. Seeming like the next goal is going to be the last. Wolf wanted one more touch, but now Nico needs to be really careful here because Wolf is committed. 
Wolf is going to be struggling on boost. That's going to get lifted up. Nico keeping that safe, but bumping his teammate in the process. Eight seconds to go. Lift it up. Crypto says he have boost. No, the boost just spawned. He gets killed for it. Wolf on the backboard. He comes in for a shot. It's going to touch down, and we go into overtime. The next goal is what determines the grand finals this time around and the winner of the prize pool. Holy Lucky so enough for the Swans is not a friendship kickoff, so it's going to be an even game yet again. Very scary redirect. Billy's didn't respect it. They're a little struggling on boost, but Wolf is going to have that clear from the backboard. Nico still playing defensive. Actually, he's going to go for the full boost, seeing his uh, his moment there. Not a waterfall. Nico jumped, expecting it. Here's Wolf. He's got a touch. It's bouncing, but not quite in yet. Just off of the net. Nico looking for the block, using all his boost in the process as his boost is going to get stolen away from Wolf. Almost gets completely dunked on. That was looking very scary. Oh, Nico is going to dribble. This dribble could be it. No, it gets blocked away by Garb, completely reading Nico's touch. The shot. To the front of the net, Wolf! Wolf with the final shot. My goodness, it couldn't be any closer. Holy smokes. With what the an angle, angle. That Wolf no. jumps for this. I was expecting him to hit it off the corner, and instead he goes tries to hit with the angle of the car and bounces it off the backboard. Did you see that double rim as well by the Swans? Holy I did not. They were completely like tied up in that rim. There was there was one car trying to go left, one car trying to go right. They're like hitting each other a little bit, and Wolf. Just barely getting in there. I imagine those guys, those Europeans, they are so tired. <laughs> let's try to get <laughs> let's try to get Nico and Wolf in here for an interview. They don't really need an invitation. They can just join on us. Freaking admins and their powers. What can you do? Gosh, I can barely breathe. That game was that was something. That was something. That was fantastic. Yeah, that was absolutely wild. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I also can't believe the uh, dishonor and no scarabs. If they went with the scarabs, like I been said, they, either way it was dishonored. Do they mm -hmm. dis do they dishonor the tradition of the scarabs, or do they dishonor their opponents? Right. I, I don't know. To me, that the choice is obvious. <laughs> they inform them that their victory is been revoked due to lack of scarabs. It's invalidated. <laughs> Hey, I'm just happy they uh, won a tournament while I was sitting here behind this microphone. Yeah, that is nice. Now all I gotta do is win when uh, Portland Tool are in. Oh, hey guys. What's up? What's hey. going on? Congratulations, guys. The return of the Kings here tonight. Yes, Does it feel yes. good? When was the last time you won? Uh, Didn't we come from losers and beat Patrick and Luigi? That sounds right. Well, yeah. Recently? That was like that was a couple weeks back. Yeah. December, early December? Couple weeks? Oh, okay. My bad. Couple weeks. I've been gone for three weeks. Well, yeah. Well, a few thought. weeks. <laughs> right. Three weeks. Yeah. At least a month ago. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, guys, what do you have to say about the chat saying your victory is invalidated because you weren't playing scarabs? Um. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know if they remember, but um, we we put our faith in the scarabs last time and they didn't come through oh so we just we we let the merc daddy carry <laughs> <laughs> is this that's the end of the scarabs then we're never gonna see him again uh, no we're not saying that's the end but uh they might make a surprise well, visit why, once in a while why would you why would you pay tribute to the scarab gods if they've let you down don't you find a new god at this point I mean, we've got the rim gods. And we, you mentioned the flora gods. We right. have the scarab gods. How many gods does this pantheon of of hoops have? Ooh, I mean, as many as many as you want them to be. Yeah, we're, we're like ancient peoples, dude. If you see something that you don't <laughs> understand, you just attribute it to a new god. That yeah, you know, the ancient tradition of rocket right. league hoops. So you guys gonna ask us about the game though? No, you know, I, I'm, I'm confident that uh, what people want to know about is why you back down with your tail tucked between your legs. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> All right, just kidding. Okay, guys, let me know what was going through your head after you got clean sleep, three owed, and you go into the next best of five. What do you? What, is, like... what are you guys talking about? Like, what do you guys? What, what oh, you it, it was. What you need to change? It was just like. Well, Wolf just told me, he's like, hey, Nico, um, I know 
it's been a while, but I'm gonna have to break out the Merc. And I was like, oh, that's all you needed to say. <laughs> and, then, and I knew from there that we had it in the bag. Was the extra sitting power what you need, Wolf, to dunk all those balls in? Oh, Dude, yeah, I mean, just her off. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, those were uh, some very non-stressful games. We were barely on defense <laughs> at all. Um, <laughs> never rushed any of our, you know, saves and didn't double commit at all. I mean, there's not much to ask, honestly. Uh. Man, how about their defense, though? They played hoops defense like hoops veterans, for sure. Like, their rotations, their their positioning on defense, it was always flawless. Yeah, it was kind of like hoping for them to make more mistakes than they did, but they weren't given to us. They were really making us earn ours. Mm. One thing I am curious about is what your reactions were to how they – well, how they reacted to doing all the friendship kickoffs you guys were doing. Because at first they didn't go, then they, mm -hmm. then you didn't go for one, they also didn't go for one. It seemed like every single time a friendship opportunity happened, no one knew what was happening. <laughs> yeah. They did a good job at, you know, throwing us off. And even when they would send a guy, they were they were blocking our friendship. So mm, yep. we, had to, we had to adjust our place. And what we did was we did, just sent one guy to, like, boop them because they were just going for, like, a dunk. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a game of rock, paper, scissors at that point. And then, Wolf, I saw with your kickoff, you were always angling your Merc down to drop the ball. Once, once it even lands on Nico's hood and gets a waterfall right afterwards. Was that adjustment you made, or is that just kind of a uh, kickoff style of yours? It's one of my favorite kickoffs. A lot of times, if I don't do it like once or twice, then when I do it, it's just automatically above their net. Like that one that we did, uh, we called it because he was just saying, I'm going to be right there after kickoff, so I just angled down yeah. and normally gets past him. Yo, that yeah, was that, sick. The follow yeah, through, holy smokes. Yeah, that was yeah, that was a, yeah. we call that sometimes. I think you won that game. I think that that last shot was critical. Or that wasn't the yeah. last shot, but it was one of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, that was an excellent series. I hope those guys come back and maybe pick a different name, because I don't know what their name means, but I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Platty if you dare. Yeah, I, I maybe. I, I'm still scared to find out, but... Uh, we're going to throw the host over to X0. Zero. Zero, he does hoops all the time. He used to have the hoops tournaments before even our group did them years back. So let's give him some love. He's been in this the uh, the hoops game for so long, and I think he deserves maybe a little bit more attention. So we'll give it to him. Guys, thank you so much. Um, anyone who uh, attended the tournament as well, we really, really appreciate it. It's always really fun to watch and to participate. Uh, we're going to have some midweek streams coming up this week i'll be hosting some 1v1s as always and then probably trying to chase nico on the ladder and then nico i don't know what the heck you're doing <laughs> you're gonna try to stream maybe this week you have time oh Anything for sure yeah oh sure. yeah well nico's trying to so, try and knock you off the ladder if you want to find out how to get better at rocket league watch nico if i don't i don't if you want to listen to me ramble on for hours and watch me but